Let me ask you a question. What does reading look like? Well, unfortunately for us, it looks like this. If we were to add some content in, then it might look instead like this. Born of man and woman, in accordance with cat form Y7 requirements, cold world class modified per Alienal 3.2e GMI option, Jerry Dark was not suited for existence anywhere in the universe which had guaranteed him a niche. This was either a blessing or a curse, depending on how you looked at it. That's how an alien character is introduced in a short story by science fiction writer Roger Zelazny. Of course, what you've just seen and heard is more like what film or television does when they want to show reading. There is a mysterious voiceover, and as a viewer, you seem to have developed a skill for telepathy. You can hear the voice in my head. Maybe I'm not even getting a voice in my head at all. When I'm reading, I'm not actually hearing anything. I don't read by moving my lips anymore. I don't sub-vocalise at all. If I did, would I do the narrator's and character's voices in different male or female forms, or in different accents? Is the voice in your head always your voice? What about when the narrator's a different gender from you? In any case, when I read about Jerry Dark in the opening to a science fiction story, I don't just get a voice, I get a full, rich, alien world with a character and an alien mind. I get extraterrestrial planet forming, genetic and physical modification, interstellar travel, the feeling of extreme cold, and a vague sense of both control and loneliness. In other words, far more than the words of the passage actually convey. 